What's going on guys? Brian here from Guardians of the Geckos and we are in Daytona Beach for the National Reptile Breeders Expo, one of the largest reptile conventions in the United States. And in this video, I'll be taking you guys into the show, show you a little bit about the behind the scenes as far as setup goes, what happens before the doors open at 10 a.m. And it's gonna be pretty exciting. Have some amazing animals. We'll hang out with some of the other vendors at the expo and check out this view. Daytona Beach, there's the ocean right there. So, follow along with me. Let's go ahead, get over, finish setting up, and have some fun this weekend. All right, so they just opened the doors at 9 a.m. for vendors to go ahead and get set up. We have one hour before the show actually opens up to customers. So vendor setup is from 9 to 10. Show starts and goes from 10 to 5. So Priscilla is already <laughs> pulling off all the sheets of the merchandise. And then we're gonna get all of the crusted geckos or for that matter, all of our geckos <laughs> set up and everything next. And the biggest part is cleaning up their poop from overnight. <sighs> so here's some of the geckos we have with us this weekend. Press to use some lily whites. Look at that one right there. Coarse gargoyles. We got some lychees over here. And some GT mixes. Another gargoyle, chihuahuas. And then showing off some of our breeders, here's Goliath. Big GTA Nuami mix. And some of our breeder chihuahuas there. Crested geckos, there's Killer Frost. Star Lord, Krillin, Venom, Carnage. And some more of their babies. And there's Priscilla doing her favorite part. Yeah. Cleaning up the gecko poop from overnight. Which is a lot of poop. Should make fertilizer out of it. <laughs> I don't know if that'd work. But also uh, she's misting down the geckos so they're nice and hydrated for the show. A hydrated gecko is a happy gecko. So we just finished setting up for the day. We're gonna walk around and see what's going on. At least we have 20 minutes before the show opens. So we got my dad watching our booth right now. Are we looking for anything specific before the crowd comes? No. I don't Are we getting to anything? Watch. No, 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 no. I'm no? getting a baby, so I don't, I don't want any animals right now. There's underground reptiles. He's got some. Super cool stuff. That's the we milk should, frogs. We should have one of those because they're from Amazon. <laughs> and you're from the Amazon. <laughs> yeah, look at these guys. Super cute. Got Gecko Junkie here with the killer setup. Some merch. Rack House is in the house. That's a big, big boy right there. I love these reds right here. Awesome red stripes. I can't how vibrant that one is. We only have 13 minutes left till the show opens. Where should I go next? By the way, guys, this is Alex. Opening, opening a store in Orlando. You can't put me on the spot like that. Opening a Where store in Orlando. Next? Not open yet, November, but soon. November, October, it's happening. It's happening. We'll let you know. I didn't say it. Imperial Reptiles. That's him right there. World famous. Let's go to the lace monitors. Yes. This is apparently the sponsor of the Daytona 2020 show. 
We're going somewhere over here. Yeah. Oh yeah, there he is. Sponsor of Daytona 2020. Licking right at the camera right now. Smelling us. He's just, you know, you know just a small, small nose. What's going on? How are you? Good, how are you? Bulldog LLC Reptiles. I love that name. All right, guys, we have nine minutes to the show. We gotta crash Tiki's Go. Geckos real quick. You guys quick. gotta come here. We're the number one, not <laughs> number them. One. Just kidding. Number one in what? Number one in everything. Everything. We do. No, everything. Uh, uh, there's one booth that might be like, give these guys a run for their money. <laughs> I, I think it starts with a G. I don't know. Galaxy <laughs> where, where we got going on, Manny? All right, we got. Uh, what, what's like the coolest yeah. thing here? We only have like eight minutes. You mean now. everything here? I am their father. I their gave father. birth to them and their mother. I'm parthenogenic. <laughs> this is a Swedish line northern blue tongue skink. This line is very rare in the United States, originated in Sweden. And man, I wish I had a normal to put it next to right now. But these guys have color all the way from their golden nugget head all the way through their tail, which is uncommon. Northerns usually have like a wider, paler tail and a head. But you see this guy has limb color, belly color everything yeah. and he's only gonna get better Freaking this is still awesome. a young baby awesome. very cool very cool and look at that blue tongue oh. <laughs> little, little he gets French it from kid. me he gets it from me <laughs> but what time is it uh, Show's three, starting minutes. In? Uh, three minutes three minutes all right bye love you guys bye. so we're on a mission to find the albino dart frogs wherever those are at Two amigos. Alex, two amigos, where are they? Right there. Uh, right there. Albino dark frogs. So freaking cool. What's up, man? Good, good. Had to come over and see these fellas. There we go. Show is officially open. Alright, back at our booth for opening, getting these guys finally situated. One. Going to this awesome expo this weekend, one of the coolest things is the location. Obviously, we are here at Daytona Beach, beautiful area. The Hilton right here next to me is the partnered hotel. So if you're ever wanting to go to the event in the future, even before me and Priscilla were breeders, we would come to this event, we would stay at the Hilton. And if you go online, you can actually book the designated room block for the event, for the expo, and you get a really good, much cheaper rate if you do it that way. You just wanna make sure you book the room early enough because it does fill up. We even heard this weekend specifically, the hotel is actually fully booked. There's no availability. So besides just the expo itself, there are a lot of other really cool events happening and they're specifically being held at the Hilton. One of the coolest ones I always enjoy going to every year is the silent auction and the actual, they hold a real auction. And all of the money raised at this auction actually goes to US ARC, which is an organization that fights for the rights of reptile breeders and keepers all over the United States. Really cool. Just make sure if you go to the silent auction, you don't bid on those items like Dwight did from the office. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, I think I can save us all some time. Uh, Dwight Schrute has won every single item here. Thank you very much. All I had to do was look up the prices, idiots. Suck it. Your donation is the largest we've ever received at over $34,000. So I'll go ahead and also post a link in the description to US Arc's website if you want to go ahead and check out that organization and make a donation yourself. Other favorite breeders in the house. Hello. Got anything good to show us? Our Dang. Mandarin rat snakes. That is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Wow. These are one of my favorites. I remember seeing them all the time in our garage when I was little. Yeah, yeah. This is another Asian species I picked up. It's called scientific name is Melendorfi hundred flower rat snakes. They're from Asia. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow! I thought his head was upside down, and mm -hmm. that was his like. Underside. Yeah, and they got like orange eyes. That is crazy looking. Mm -hmm. Very cool. This is the most expensive thing we picked up. It's called an El Diablo boa. $2,500. Dang. Mm -hmm. That's crazy coloring. Yeah. T positive blood. Yeah, yeah. And it's Central American, so these stay a little bit smaller than like the Colombians and all. Oh. The males get about four foot, the females get about six foot. Hey, I like that uh, that hoodie. Oh too. yeah, you like it? I like it too. It's pretty warm. So, guys, if you're ever at a show and Ward's World is there, you gotta hit them up. Yeah. Killer stuff. Yeah. All right. So I'm here with one of my favorite breeders of dwarf gecko species. Hey guys. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> so show us like some of your prize guys you have with you this Okey weekend. Okie dokie. Um, we brought out a bunch of electric blue juveniles. Got some little guys just starting to show some color. Um, love this species. Been working with them for about 10 years. Yeah, they're going to end up looking like this when yeah. they're Yeah. And then we got these cloud forest design labels with like their range and the Kimboza forest and uh, status and everything. We also brought some Clemeri, which of course are hiding under <laughs> my paper towels. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> Rolled over for me. Uh, we brought some morning geckos, which are hiding too. Uh, Those guys are cool. They're uh, like they clone themselves. Mm -hmm. Parthenogenic. Uh, yeah. They do have males, but it's like one in a few thousand. Um, I yeah, think yeah. Brackhouse produced one, and Josh's Frogs was raffling one off like a year ago. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Um, and then we brought some uh, Bowers Chameleon geckos, Eurodactyloid agricoli. I'll pop this little guy. This is out. on my to get list. Oh, they're so one much day. fun. They so produce cool. like crazy. Same exact hair as a crested gecko. Same island, New Caledonia. So tiny too. Yeah, they're just like, and they're they don't jump or anything. I mean, they do, but it takes them so much like muster to jump, and so you can tell it's not like a crested where they do that like jump into the abyss, you know. Yeah. But yeah, real fun species. Um, brought some gargs too, but the smaller geckos are always my favorite. All right, very cool, awesome. Well, where can everyone find you at? Uh, GahaganLaboratories.com. I'm on Facebook, Gahagan Laboratories. Uh, Instagram here. too? Yep, Instagram, Boom. at Gahagan Laboratories. All right, thank you. Yeah, thank you, bud. I'll see you. I'll see ya. <laughs> All right, so just walking around the expo still. Obviously, you can see everyone's got their mask on. It's supposed to be social distanced. Um, it's really not too crowded in here. Um, as compared to other years at the Daytona Breeders Expo. But it's still been a really good show. Um, now I gotta run back over to my table before I get yelled at. So check this out, everyone. Brittany, what is this? Leucistic hognose, it's a male. I'm, I'm scared now. <laughs> That's so cool. David was holding it, I was like, David, don't break it. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Oh my gosh, so cute. <laughs> yeah.
Oh, 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 oh,